doing reflexes, you have to give a good strike. Thank you. Let go of the bad habits of medicine and just do it, you know, slightly. No, you have to give it a good strike. You have to have your thumbs become sore within your first week in neurology and then that calluses as you're doing these reflexes over and over and over again. I'm starting to lose my calluses. I don't do reflexes that much anymore. But remember, you need a good arm swing. You need a loose hammer in your hand. If you're using Trumner, it's just loose in your fingers. You don't need much of a swing with your wrist. Uh, same for the queen square, but if, you, and if you're using any other hammer, uh, you should be fired. <laughs> All those other hammers are useless. Don't use anything else. They, I mean, if you have a Bavinsky, sure, but Tomahawk, don't let me find you using Tomahawk. And, uh, in your hand, it's not acceptable in neurology. Come on, we need to know, we need to trust your reflex. If you tell me reflexes are absent, I need to trust it 100% to make a differential, okay? So you have to have your reflexes at a level. If they're absent, they're absent. If they're low, they're low. If they're normal, they're normal. And it should not be any other way around, okay? So, uh, you know, there's a lot that can be said about reflexes. There are other reflexes like the trapezius jerk we can do. There's the pectoralis jerk we can do. There's the jaw jerk. Um, there is uh, many things about deep end reflexes. There's also the cutaneous reflexes, we don't do a lot of abdominal reflex for localization. It used to be normal when the MRIs were not so common that you can do the three times MRI of the same reflection on a patient. So we don't do these cutaneous reflexes anymore. Uh, Trimesteric reflex, we don't do that anymore. Anal wink or anal reflex, we don't do that anymore. Oh, <laughs> 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 But, you know, uh, the most important thing about reflexes is practice. So senior residents make sure that your junior residents practice reflexes and they get their art and technique right today so that from today onward you can start trusting their reflexes when they report. Okay? Questions? Comments? I would just say sometimes you don't need a sledgehammer. With some people it's just a minor thing. But in order to see if they have any reflexes, you have to have a really good hammer. You've got to have maneuvers that are going to accentuate things. And sometimes you just don't see a reflex. And maybe the patient, uh, after a couple cups of coffee, does have reflexes. So you need to find out. And also temperature for an MS patient may be a big deal. I mean, you see things, if they have a fever, that you wouldn't have seen otherwise. All right, let's break and we'll have a 15 minute.